Rick was Santi, career high 23 points. He made six threes. He made those four in the, the first eight minutes of the game. How important was obviously what he was able to do on the offensive yeah, end? It really is important. It reminded me of his first game here when he walked on the floor two days practice against LSU. Remember, he came out and hit some shots like that. And and he's, he has struggled a little bit lately. Uh, and I think some of it is me maybe asking him to do a little bit too much. Uh, but uh, he – he knows that he wants to be good, and, and uh, but he, he was playing with a lot of confidence today in every game. We still got to get his teammates wanting to go get the ball some and let him not have to work so hard bringing it down the floor because people are going to do that, obviously, to try to wear him down. But uh, he, Santi was terrific. Jaden Springer, I thought, played his best game. He had some turnovers there at the end he shouldn't have, but those are learning experiences. Yeah, Rick, you just mentioned Jaden. How do you evaluate um, overall his game and – Seemed like he might have had more hand and in, in playing a little bit more point than he has in some other games. Is that the case? Yeah, I thought he was really solid defensively, and he's and he's going to learn so much as he continues to go. These next couple of weeks are going to be huge for he and Keon and you know the other guys that we get out there. These minutes are really valuable. But uh, Jaden handled himself really well today. He's, you know he's a really gifted uh, player, certainly offensively. He's I think he's deceptive in what he does. Made a great pass. We ran a little set to get him and Folky down there in a two-man game, and he made a great pass to Folky, and he, Folky missed a dunk. But that's – I mean, that's a great pass. I mean, that's just his talent, just seeing it and making the play. Gary Stackhouse said that given Missouri's COVID issues and South Carolina's issues, that there's potential you guys will play back-to-back -back with Vanderbilt next week. Is that something you've had discussions about? We've heard it, but we don't know. We'll, we'll know, I would say, I just – on the radio show – we thought we'd know something definitely by tomorrow, but it might be – you might know something in the next couple. We don't know. By the time we get back to Knoxville, maybe we'll know. But that, that's Thanks. something that we've heard as well. Troy. Rick, going back, Rick, to, going back, going back to Santi, nice. I guess just how much have you seen him improve in terms of taking care of the basketball and I guess just how important was it for you to kind of get him to do that after maybe he wasn't so great well Troy the big thing is he's got himself in shape you know he's in so much better shape and what he did a year ago I, I, I will tell you I've said it many times it's unbelievable that he walks out of the NBA Academy gets for and when we are in total disarray of what's happened I mean you guys know I've talked about it many times, how many different ways we had to remake ourselves a year ago, but for him to come in and do what he's done. And then he obviously, as soon as the COVID hit, he went home. He was one of the last players to get back. But we appreciate the fact we told him what he had to do, and he came back in the best condition we've ever seen him. And he continues to do that. Uh, he's a smart player, crafty, all those, anything you want to put on it. But he, and he's competitive. He's a, he's a very um, deceptive defender. I think it's, I mean, I know for a fact his teammates love what he's about. We still have to help him more. We're, we're putting too much on him. I mean, we got too many guards that can bring the ball up the floor. He need, and, he's, and he's very good off the ball. But uh, some of that's his pride that he wants to handle it all the time. And he, I get that because that's part of who he is. But uh, we've got to continue to teach him that he's got to conserve some energy along the way. Coach, I get you to lean back just a little bit. You got a little bit of a Wizard of Oz vibe, Wizard of Oz vibe going, and uh, we'll go to Wes and then Rob Lewis. Which, 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 which? Are you saying one particular character on the Wizard of Oz? Yeah, the Wizard when he's like, he's just, all you see is his face. It's kind of scaring people. I like it. I've never been called the Wizard. I like it. You know. Go ahead, Rick. When you look at the sort of the defense overall today and then you how, how do you square that with some of the rebounding numbers because you hold a team to 54 points they shoot low percentage um, but you got out rebounded by I think eight and it was wider than that at times how do you how do you measure all those things well we knew coming in that a bigger Texas a and game is rebounding we knew that coming in and we knew that we were going to have to there's so many different things Wes that go into it you know if you're going to be a heavy gap team you're giving teams that means you're going to be closer to the basket that means you're giving your opponent a chance to get a run and start. And you have to be able to get turned around, get back and try to make some contact and go get it. So, uh, again, I think our guys battled. You know, we gave up two to start the game that we, that we weren't real happy about. But overall, I do think our guys fought and against a team that does an unbelievable job of 
rebounding the ball. You had a shot at being the Wizard of Westwood there, Coach. Well, that, that's true. I don't know if I'd have been the Wizard of Westwood. I could have, I could have been the Tin Man or the guy that doesn't have the brain, the Scarecrow, but I don't know uh, if I'd have been the Wizard of Westwood. But on the game, Coach, you had two guys who led you in scoring on Wednesday, Josiah and, and Victor, who you know, they had 17 each. Today they have five each. What does it say about your team that you have that much balance and you, know, you can seesaw like that offensively? Well, I thought we showed versatility today. We put a team out there that we have never played with, practiced with. We, we, had, we actually put Keon at the four, along with uh, Eve at the, what would be the, the post guys. They were playing what would be called our post positions. And, and we had uh, BJ, uh, Jaden, and Santi. And those guys actually had a couple. We were going to run into a couple possessions and see how it went. And because we do think that those guys can guard anybody uh, for possessions, obviously. And but I think that's our team makeup. We 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 don't have to be a one man team. And that's what we've tried to talk to our team about. Now there's a way we've got to play. But we knew they were going to double team Falky today. We weren't sure which way they would come with it. For the most part, he did a good job of getting it out of there. And that's what got it sprayed around. That's what got us going early. We knew that we were going to have to get the ball side to side. But uh, I, again, I can see that happening every game. We could really start a different lineup every game. It wouldn't bother. I don't think anybody in our in our, our room. And I can see scoring being different every game too. Last three for coach, go to Gustavo, Nicholas Hill, then Ben McKee. Coach, uh, in terms of defense performance, he, you know, he had a lot of blocks, you know. I, how do you evaluate Eves in terms of defensively? How important he was, especially blocking the ball? He, every game, he, he he's as big a part of winning every game we win as anybody that we have. I mean, he's always making winning plays that don't show up in the stat sheet. Obviously, he can be blocked shots. We know how good he is there. But he, he's – we love him because everybody knows how hard he works and – I will tell you this, once he makes a couple, makes a three, he's going to get off one because he works too hard. And just like uh, Santi went through a stretch a couple games, but you know he can shoot. We know Eve can shoot, but Eve can do so many other things. He just gives us a great weapon defensively because he can, as we've said many times, we can put him anywhere on the floor to guard anybody. And then when he's away from the ball, he does a tremendous job of coming over and making plays. Uh, Coach, Emmanuel Miller for Texas A&M was averaging eight and a half points a game heading into this game, yet your team held him to only eight points on three of eight shooting. Just how big of an emphasis was that um, coming into this game for your defense to uh, stop him from you know, being uh, as effective as he has been offensively? Well, obviously it's important. You know, it goes back, and again, I can rave about our assistants. They, they do an unbelievable job of scouting teams and trying to give our players the best – cheat sheet that they can give them. And today I thought our guys did a really good job of helping each other, trying to do the things that we ask them to do through our scout. And it was, it's always a team effort. It's never going to be one guy, even though we know Eve anchors that defense. It's a, a multiple effort by a lot of different guys having to play against players like that. Coach, last year when, when you played A&M in Knoxville, you, you weren't too pleased with the rebounding and, and handling A&M's physicality. Were you pleased with, with handling A&M's physicality today? Well, honestly, we went back and looked at that game. It was a really hard game to watch. Uh, we, weren't, we weren't very tough, and they came in and beat us any and every way that you could beat somebody. Uh, and uh, we talked about it. You know, they're not, that's who they – that's what they do. That's who they – that's their part of their identity, their makeup, is that they're going to make you work on the boards. And uh, so, yeah, we talked a lot about it. We knew we were going to have to rebound the ball. And with that said, you know, overall, I mean, we, we want to win the rebound and battle, but I thought our guys held their own against the team, and, as, and they're as good as anybody you're going to play against. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you, guys.